was yesterday as good as it looked when you watched the film? Yeah, yesterday was a good day for, for the offense, defense. Uh, obviously, it's first out of exotic pressures. So, you know, there was some bust and miscommunications part of it. You know, a big reason why Coach Ward here is, is what he does on third and long. So I love what they do on third and long. And, uh, but when you don't execute it, you know, it looks not so great. And that's what it looked like yesterday. Offense good, defense bad today. Helmets day, but we came out with a purpose. It wasn't like just a helmets day. We actually practiced. And I said, that's a really good sign for our football team when we can have practice like that. And I actually feel like we got better. I mean, mixed feelings, probably. I mean, they're going to be no cell phones, poor cell phone service, you know, single bunk with 20 other people in their room. So I'm sure it's mixed emotions. When they get up there, they'll appreciate it more while they're there than when they're thinking about it. In terms of like just actually going there and transporting not only just the entire team, but equipment, luggage, gear, and everything you guys need, what are sort of the challenges and demands you guys have? Yeah, that's a great question for Brian McGinnis. You know, luckily for me, I have people who handle all that. He's the one, Brian and Lexi had to, uh, and Coach Drow had to figure out all the logistics on how to make this happen. Uh, I just know it's something we want to do, and they're all about it. Offense was good yesterday. Would you say that the defense won today's practice? There wasn't really a winner at today's practice because the full speed, we call it full speed tempo, which means, or run through tempo, I'm sorry, which means the skill are running through, the bigs are two step. So we don't call sacks, we don't simulate sacks. That way we can really get two good two minute scenarios of the balls down, the balls inbounds, kills, spikes. We don't want to stop all that every day with sacks, right, in this setting. So I don't really know if there's a winner or loser of today's type of practice. I thought our team won because during all the special teams periods, we had guys, some of our best players, getting reps, telling other guys to pay attention. We were dialed into the detail today. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're in way better. Well, I know we're in way better shape this year than we were last year. Obviously, the newer guys, you know, they take. There's a little bit of the struggle bus. You know, Miles. Miles is back with his little smirk back here. He actually doesn't get tired, so he he's back full speed ahead. But some of the freshmen, you can see the fatigue. But the vets, the people who went through spring and summer, uh, I mean, our workloads, like I said, are about 12 to 15 percent higher per practice, which is relative to conditioning level. All of our projections. So we have projections based off of what we did the last man. fall. What the we man. Did. Are you talking about yourself? No, coach. Oh. Uh, but we have the projections from last fall, from last spring, similar practice structures. And when we compare those, we're, we're consistently 12 to 15% higher than our projections. So we got to ramp up our projections because we got a team that actually likes football. Very. Well, part of that is due to the fact that we weren't good last year. Part of that is due to, I think we've acquired some good football players. And uh, I think the combination of not having many returners and then acquiring good football players uh, equal competitions this late. Uh, hopefully, you know, our roster's young. It's one thing nobody's talking about is, you know, of our 44, our two deep on both sides of the ball, I think 38 of them can return another year, maybe 39. When you think about that, that's crazy to think about. And uh, when you're putting together a program, your goal is to improve in year two, and your goal is to see how good you can get in year two, and then be ready to explode in year three. And I think we're right in that position where we don't know how good we can be this year, but we're in position for our next two years to uh, be a really good football team. That's a great question. I think that's the great debate. You know, when people say, do we have more talent? Do I think we're better than last year? Yes, I don't think that's a question. But in today's day in football, relative to other teams, are we the only team that has a higher talent level because of the portal and you can get guys from other, from other levels to come up? I think so. I think just the caliber of this level of football is going to be a little bit better. So it's really hard to judge yourself in today's landscape of football because I think the football at our level is just getting better and better and better. So where do we stand three years ago? Oh, I'd feel really, really good about if we played with this team three to four years ago. Where do we stand in today's day of football? Really hard to measure. That's why you can't worry about that. You can just worry about yourself.